Political um, yeah, activists. We've got MRP. We are also represented by Zapu. We also got human rights organizations like Zoro, and we also have my right to vote the people's chief or the citizens chief. chief. When we also have uh, Lord Ons over there. I'm not going to waste much time. I will ask uh, Champion Chinyoka to take over. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's an absolute delight to be back here outside uh, the embassy. Uh, I'm being asked to put my voice up, but I don't think I can make it go this far. So please uh, uh, come in. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for coming. Uh, this lunchtime or early in the morning, I think some of you have traveled from afar. It's, it's so important that we can come together to gather on times such as these, particularly when we are standing in solidarity with Honorable Job Sikala incarcerated for nearly 257 days. Um, so that's going towards 300 days, isn't it? Yeah. For, for merely speaking up on behalf of a woman that was murdered because she belonged to the CC political movement. That really, really saddens all of us today. That's why we are here. So thank you for coming to stand with us in solidarity. We need to continue to raise our voices. We need to be heard by the international community. We need to come back during the week and go inside there and demand the release of Honorable Scala. Standing outside on a Saturday is great, but I think the bigger action is going in there, disrupting what they do, because we have the right as Zimbabweans to go in there and make our demands known. So I'm not going to speak for a long time now, because we've got a speaker that are going to come and speak. Um, I can't find the list on, on here. Okay, yeah. Okay. So we've got, so we've got our speakers here. So we've got Avengai uh, Mutsawu, we've got Diana Machingauta, we've got Lloyd Shumbayaonza, we've got Tokozo Balaba, we've got um, our brother here, Marco, who's going to speak, Chief Ndiweni and Lord Oz. So if we can start this order, a couple of minutes please for the following. Avengai, Diana, Lloyd, Tokozo, two minutes and then we'll give much time to our brother because he's been in it, he's been arrested, he's got the experiences and we want to hear from him after he's spoken, Chief Ndweni, and then we'll end with Lord Oz because we want to dance as well. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, then guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Champion Patricia. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I 
CEOs, Chief Ndiweni, I honor you, my dear uh, speaker. We know why we are here. Wiwa is in prison and he has been incarcerated for more than 256 days with no crime committed. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We are now. 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 Diana is our next speaker, Diana Machinga Uta. Diana, please. Diana. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. My name is Diana Machinga Uta. I'm the communication secretary. I'm the communication secretary for Youth Assembly for CC Manchester branch. On behalf of the youth first and foremost, I'm saying let's all go and register to vote and let's also encourage those, uh, our loved ones back at home to register to vote. The strength is in our numbers. The future is in our hands. We need jobs. We need good health care systems. We need freedom of association. We need decent jobs, decent houses, just to name a few. Secondly, on behalf of the youth, I'm saying, Mr. Minangagwa, your time is up. Take your best and go. We demand, I'm saying this again, Mr. Minangagwa, your time is up. Take your best and go. Yes. We demand the, the release of our brave citizen, Honorable Job Sikala. Yes. We demand his release. He did not commit any crime. Yeah. This is injustice. This is inhuman. It's in intolerable. So we demand his release now. Thank you so much. We are now. 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 Thank you, thank you, Diana. That was a lovely speech. I will now call upon um, Lloyd Shumbaya Wanda to come forward, please. Yes, thank you. Free we were now. 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 Thank, thank you very much, Chairman, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for, for coming here and supporting us. It's very, very important. Thank you, Chief, as well, to you. For coming and supporting us ladies and gentlemen this thing is ours let's keep on supporting each other let's keep on make sure that sikala is out it's injustice and inhuman what nangago is doing let's keep on supporting each other guys even on twitter even on on facebook on, on social media everything right thank you very much thank you for giving me the thank thank you. You. Yes, you've heard it all, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is ours. We need to continue shouting louder so that our voices will be heard across the nations. Our call today is to implore to the international community to hold the Zimbabwean government to account. We want them to intervene in Job Wewa's plight so that our voices are heard and Job Wewa be freed now. Yeah. We, do, we want him to be freed no sooner than today. Yeah. So please, I'll call upon the next speaker who is, um, oh, it is now the citizen's chief. Uh, please, chief, may you come forward? <laughs> Sorry, Chief. No, uh, my, my sincere apologies. No, right. Yeah, I think I made a little mistake. I need to call um, our freedom fighter, Marco Morero, first to I'll come through that. before I'll you. Then you will be next. Thank you, Marco. Over to you. Let's get down for you. Thank you, Kobachios, for coming today uh, 
on the day of our Lord, um, you know, it's uh, the 256th day of Job Sikala in pre-trial detention. Some may be fooled, you know, by Zanupiev government to believe that it's, it's the law taking its course, but there's no greater injustice than that which is perpetrated, you know, under the rule of law, you know, under those pieces of the rule of law, when we clearly know it is not. Honorable Job Sikala is wrongly charged with inciting public violence, violence which has never happened. All he was doing was to represent the, mob, the Ali family and the Zimbabwean family at large in crying for justice for more blessing Ali who was abducted and brutally murdered by Zanu PF. And in other ways, the charge that he has been given is only if found guilty of which is innocent. It is punishable by a maximum sentence of six months in prison. But now it's more than seven months in prison. There is no justice. Justice delayed is justice tonight. And it's not him alone. This demonstration, we are saying free job Sikala because it's our symbol of, of resistance. Yeah. Yes. Our yes. symbol of resistance against oppression. Yes. Our symbol of resistance against the NPF. Yeah. Yes. Our symbol of resistance against judicial capture. Yes. I'm speaking of judicial capture because it has been abused. Traditionalists have been arrested. We see the likes of uh, the Amalgamated Road Chairs Union Association of Zimbabwe, Comrade Obed Masao, Robson Chair, and many teachers are being abused. We go journalists are not paid either. Blessed Mklang, Opochimon, and many others. They are being persecuted by this capture justice system. Yes. We go to the political activists, opposition activists, we have Joanna Mamombe, Cecilia Chimbiri. The justice system has failed them. Yeah. We go to Netaima Road, the justice system has failed them. We go to Andam Cheo, the justice system has failed them. And there are thousands of people of Zimbabweans who have been failed by the justice system. Yeah. I may not speak, you know, I might spend the whole day, but we all know what has happened, especially on political judgments, starting from uh, 2018 when the court certified electoral theft. So as you stand here, I am here to speak on behalf of Job Scala because Honorable Job Scala, his mouth is muscled, his voice is shut down, he yes, cannot speak. Yes. But I need to tell you that we should not tire. Every day we should increase justice, our demands for, for his justice, our demands for his freedom. He is behind in prison and we have, uh, he is the 10th uh, Zimbabwean prisoner in prison right now, uh, as we are also uh, demanding the freedom of all prisoners. We have the nine uh, sons and daughters of Mutuaka's Republic. Yeah. Who were unjustly convicted. Yeah. They are political prisoners, they need to be freed. One yes. of the in trial detention, he needs to be freed. Mm -hmm. And let's always make sure, like the numbers that have come here, thank you very much, everyone, for coming here. But we need to up the tempo. Yes, the next time yes. We come, each and yes. every one of us must make sure they bring one more person to yes. be double this crowd. Yes. 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 Because we need to speak out, speak out um, more loudly. Yes. We are not speaking on ourselves, we are speaking for millions back at home. Yes. We are speaking for millions of political and economic refugees who have left Zimbabwe yeah. while living in other countries, yeah. while yeah. speaking on behalf of South Af Zimbabweans who are facing xenophobia in South Africa because of San Pierre. Yes. We are speaking on behalf of Zimbabweans who are, you know, oppressed right now in Zimbabwe. Yes. So, the prison is not uh, something where we can say, honor of Job Scala and the Mtokas Republic land can get used to. Mm -hmm. I have been there, I spent 322 days, yes. you know, mm -hmm. for a charge which was never tried, mm -hmm. a charge which is not yet on trial. They just arrested to punish, arrested to fix, arrested to shut us down. So we must make sure that we also do not get tired or give up on behalf of Honorable Job Scala. And how do we do it? Let's continue these solidarity activities. Let's have a very dead close by, nearby, where we come, double our numbers, triple our numbers, yes. to speak out louder. Yes, Let's yes. come on a day when they are open, when yes. they are there, yes. they yes. We yes. need to make, make them know that uh, we are not comfortable, so they yes. cannot be comfortable. Yes. Mm. And lack of comfortability must be mutual. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with all this, uh, I also urge you uh, to send a message to our friends and ladies back at home to encourage them to register to vote. Elections yes. are coming. Mm. The best form of solidarity you can do with Honorable Job Scala is to fight for a free Zimbabwe. Because ultimately, Honorable Job Scala is a symbol of uh, freedom of all political prisoners. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, we outside who are not in prison, Zambia has made Zimbabwe a bigger job for all of us. We are all prisoners. Mm -hmm. It's just that our prison sentences and our prison conditions are, are, are a bit different from those inside the, the, the smaller jails. So we need to make sure that we continue fighting, continue speaking out, and we urge all our you know, compatriots back at home, trace that for those who can, 
please go register to vote and those who can please mobilize more for the next demo so that we come up double triple the number and make our voices heard thank you thank you continue to demand the immediate release of our Honorable Skala. We know that Honorable Skala is a threat to the state. That's why they are keeping him behind the bars. As we are approaching the elections, uh, we know that the government doesn't want him out because they know what he's capable of. So let us fight harder and get our champion out. Thank you. So now I will then call um, our team to come forward, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, brothers and sisters. Thank you all for coming today, taking your time to come. I extend a hand to our friend and close colleague, Lord Oates over there, who has stood very strong, very strong for our cause. Um, folks, good people, the appeasement of wrongdoing is an error. Whoever engages in appeasement when there's wrongdoing in front of them is engaging in a policy of error which will come back to haunt them. This is what we're gathered about here today for Jobs Color. Yes, we call him Jobs Color, we call him We We to Free. We are speaking about a man who's a lawyer. A man a man who has chosen a career to stand for justice. Not only that, 
We then speak about a man who's a member of parliament. We then speak about a man who is there within the Triple C political party. And then to say that person was engaging in violence or enticing violence when only that individual was standing up for the family of more blessing Ali. A heinous crime. A woman abducted, taken off the streets of Zimbabwe, taken to God knows where. And to our shock and horror, we find was butchered. The body was dismembered. And then the zanu PF government has the arrogance, the audacity, to try and find a dubious crime and place it upon Job Scully. That is profoundly offensive and we reject it entirely. Yes. It has no place yeah. in a modern day Zimbabwe. Yeah. It has no place in a future Zimbabwe. Yeah. And so I would urge all of us here to continue with these protests. Because right now in Zimbabwe, as we know, the democratic space has been shut down. You are the only ones, those people in the rural areas will see protesting against the zanu PF government. Because if they try and do it, they will be arrested. And I'm saying, Zimbabwean diaspora, this is your chance to take the baton. It's been given to you that one day a week, that one day a month, to come here and raise your voices so that we increase our volume in that manner. Before I left home this morning, I received a number of phone calls from my village heads under my jurisdiction. 23 of my subjects will be arrested next week. Their crime, which I too was incarcerated for, was for the sum of four pounds, 50 cents. How do you lock up someone for four pounds, 50 cents? And because they supported me, they will be arrested this coming week. I'm busy chasing up legal minds in Bloweo to defend them. So it is a serious matter we're here today about. That let's put down the ships. I know we work shift patterns, I know times are hard, and I congratulate you, you've supported Zimbabweans left, right, and center in our country. But let's devote a little more time to this, because this is election year. The bigger picture of what this shows, hmm? the bigger picture, is that as we saw on the European continent in Poland and Kiev, we are talking about democracy against autocracy. The zanu PF government has chosen autocracy and dictatorship in a profound manner. And it has not only destabilized Zimbabwe, it is destabilizing the region and in the fullness of time, nation after nation in the international arena will too agree that the zanu PF government is a cause of destabilization in the Sadak region, a dangerous, a dangerous thing to do. And so I would urge you to talk to your friends, talk to your family members in the diaspora, to have courage to come to our meetings so that we can raise the voice, because this is the only challenge that they'll receive. And in the telephone calls that I had this morning to my village heads, they say, Chief, Chief they are doing it because today you are going to the Zimbabwean embassy. Let me say that again. The poor individuals, some of them 82 years of age, some 81, some 75, will be arrested Monday or Tuesday because Chief Mgweni is standing here today. Folks, let us change this. Let us change it and let us come more and more and more. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Free we were now. Free we were now. Free we were now. Thank you so much. That was an absolutely amazing, inspirational um, encouragement from, from our chief, the citizens' chief. We are so grateful. I think one of the key things that I took away from there is that we need to continue to amplify our voices. We need to continue raising the plight of Honorable Scala, but not just his plight, but the plight of Zimbabwe, because 2023 is the year. We need to encourage those back to register to vote. We need to help support them financially to go and do that. On the day of voting, we need to make sure that they're going out there to vote. That's what we need to do. People must register to vote, particularly those within 18 to 35 years of age. So I'm not going to take too much time talking because we'll have plenty of that. I'm delighted to introduce Lord Oz, an ally to Zimbabwe, an ally who speaks on the oppression against it to come and talk to us. Thank you so much, Lord Oz. Thank you all. Um, it is absolutely humbling to be asked to speak in the presence of so many people who sacrificed so much for uh, democracy and freedom in Zimbabwe. I feel uh, very privileged to be here to stand in solidarity uh, with Job Sakala, with yourselves. But as Mako has said, uh, Honorable Job Sakala, uh, it's not just about him. He represents and symbolizes uh, the oppression of all the Zimbabwe people. And 35 years ago, I had the great uh, privilege of teaching in a rural school in uh, Manikula. Uh, and I, uh, I think we may have someone from Manikula. <laughs> <laughs> and it was one of the most life-affirming experiences of my life. Uh, and I came back uh, with many, many friends uh, who have remained close friends of mine uh, today. But one of the first things I did when I came back was I went down the road a little bit there and sat on the milk crates outside of South Africa House with the anti-apartheid movement and we have here Trisha Sibbins uh, from uh, Action for Southern Africa which is a successor movement of the anti-apartheid movement also pleased to be here with my friend and colleague Suzanne Kerr from, from Amnesty International but I went and sat there and we demanded the release of Nelson Mandela uh, and we demanded that not just because of course Nelson Mandela needed to be free but because Nelson Mandela symbolized all the political prisoners, all the South African people who were struggling for justice uh, and equality and freedom and democracy. And when I came back in 1988 and sat on those milk crates and sang very badly, we are here, we are here till Mandela is free. If anybody had told you that two years later he would be free and that four years later after that there would be democracy and freedom in South Africa, no one would have believed you. So the one bit of hope I give is even sometimes in the darkest night, that can be the moment when the dawn is about to break. But until it does, we stand in solidarity with you and we um, stand in awe of all the brave people in Zimbabwe and in the diaspora who put their lives on the line in the fight for democracy and justice. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I know we just need to acknowledge. Yeah. Uh, so, th thank you so much, uh, Lord Oz, for continuing to stand in solidarity with uh, the people of Zimbabwe. Because when you come to re represent, we were here in May on that fateful, horrible day when we were informed of the finding of more places and her brother was here with us, and we went back home in tears. So, we want to thank you for working to ensure that Zimbabwe, I suppose in a way when we do these things is that the, the, the regime in Zimbabwe is held accountable uh, for their actions and we want to see change. So we thank you because you help us to amplify the voice for the men who are suffering in Zimbabwe. And, and I also want to believe that it's not just in Zimbabwe, but it's in all the countries globally where there's oppression, where people are not free, uh, where there's no freedom um, of speech. The freedom to be themselves, so we will appreciate that. Uh, so thank you so much everyone for those speeches. I think that we are going to give time.
time to, to dancing, to music, but I'd like to ask my, my champion here in Chokozo to come up and if there's anything else that you want to say, uh, to say. So thank you so much for taking the time. And also to yourselves, we didn't greet you properly. Please come here so we can... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you here? Oh, no, it's okay. Okay. Hands, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, there isn't a lot, uh, you know, as I've already said that we started um, a bit late. So I just want to appreciate everyone uh, who has given us the speeches today. Um, the message is very clear. Uh, champion citizens, uh, activists, human rights activists, we need to continue fighting. We really need to continue fighting wherever you are. At your home, you don't have to come to to Zimbabwe House, you can still do anything, every single uh, help, whatever you can do. For Honorable Jokus I just want to take this opportunity as well for those who are willing to support Newcastle branch and uh, um, Scotland branch. We are actually raising funds. Uh, to assist with the welfare of our Honorable Joko Skala. So if you can assist us, we've got a circulating message that is going on our platforms, uh, those who are uh, CCC, we also have a Zimbabwean community group, we're also posting there. So please, we're asking for every single small amount so that we can help with the welfare of Honorable Skala. Please, citizen, let's continue. Uh, share your messages far and wide on Twitter, on um, Facebook, on TikTok, Please let us call for job scala to be uh, freed and also lobby in parliament. Those who can write and lobby in parliament for your MPs so that they can uh, stand for us in the parliament, please will appreciate. And then on the 25th of um, the 25th of March, we are going to present 16th, 16th, 16th March. 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 Thank you, uh, champion. We are going to present um, a petition to number 10 um, to the Prime Minister in the United Kingdom. Uh, we still continue to ask for Honorable Jokus Kala to be freed. I thank you all. Please do come in numbers. We will be there on the 25th at number 10. 16th. 16th on the 16th, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes, 16th of March. Please come in numbers. We need your voices. I thank you. To save Zimbabwe. Zambia must go. Zambia must go. To save Zimbabwe. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a register here. If you want your name to be in the in the email, so we can get in touch with you for Oh, come on.